now that we have that, we're going to make a hole that is concentric to one of the edges of the master rod. It's going to go, could select up till next, but we're going to select up till surface because it's going to go to the bottom surface of that edge. It's going to have a diameter of 10 millimeters. Next, select the uh, circle pattern. Four instances, space 72 degrees apart. Under reference element, select the circle, and under reference elements, select the center circle. Rotate the pattern until you get what looks like what you want. Next, enter onto one of the side faces of the rod and draw two vertical axes. The first axis is going to be 17.5 millimeters from the right edge of the part. The next axis is going to be 250 millimeters from there. Project the top edge of the part forward as construction elements. and draw the following profile as a real element. Just bear with me. That should be an arc. and then draw a straight line to close the profile. The radius of the arch should be 100 millimeters. And the height of the arc is 7 millimeters. Make sure there's a tangency constraint between the arc and the line that closes it. Once you have a fully constrained profile, exit sketcher. And pocket. To make sure we get the whole thing pocketed, we're going to select both edges of the part. Or, er, select two surfaces. as shown here. This is to ensure that it pockets all the way through and that nothing is left over. Once it looks like everything's been pocketed, click OK. Now we have to get rid of the sharp edge on the smaller end of the rod. To do this, we're going to use a tritangent fillet, which is found under the edge fillet command. To define the tritangent fillet, pick the two radiuses the two curves on the smaller end of the rod and select the sharp edge, which is going to show here in red. Should be the face that turns red. Okay, and clicking OK leaves us with a curved rod. That is half of the master rod. Next, we're going to mirror that, so select the mirror command and select the bottom face of the master rod. And now you have your master rod. Okay, now we're going to do the articulate rod. Turn to part design, name it articulate rod. And turn to the XYZ in Sketcher. Wrong plane. The XY plane. And make sure you're looking at it from the top down. We're going to start by drawing two circles whose centers lie on the same line as each other. The distance between the centers of two circles is going to be 178 
millimeters. The left circle's diameter is 24 millimeters. The right circle's diameter is 35 millimeters. I'm going to add on two lines, make sure there's coincidence between them, that are vertical. Make sure you have these coincidences. The width between these two lines is going to be 18 millimeters. And they're also going to lie equidistant from one center. So select the two lines and the center point of one of the circles. Select equidistant point and constraints to find in dialog box. Trim the inside of the circles. Exit sketcher. Pad to a height of 9 millimeters. Enter into the top surface of sketcher. Project the edge as a construction element. And draw a circle that's real that lies concentric with it. Exit. The right circle is going to be padded to a height of 12 millimeters. Do the same thing with the left circle. Project the edge as imaginary. Project a circle that, or er, draw a circle that's real and concentric. Make sure it's constrained in green. Pad out to a height of 5 millimeters. Enter back into the front plane. We're going to draw an elongated hole that's found in the rectangle. It's going to have a width of 5 millimeters. Select the edges of the center of the rod and select the center of the elongated hole. In constraints defined in dialog box, select symmetry. The length of the elongated hole is 130 millimeters. The distance of the elongated hole from the point on the circle is going to be 10 millimeters. Exit. Pocket this to a depth of 9 minus 2.5, so 6.5. Next we're going to add the edge fillets onto the rod. So select the four edges where the main rod uh, intersects with the um, circular, the cylinders on each end. Once all four is selected, select the edge fillet command. The radius is going to be 24. Next we're going to do the holes. For the left hole, select the edge, select the center, select the hole command. Select up till next, and the diameter is going to be 15. Selecting the edge and then the surface allows you to constrain it coincident with it makes constraining easier. Do the same thing for the other one. The diameter of this hole is going to be 24. Lastly, we're going to use the mirrored command to mirror what we've done to the other side. To select the bottom edge, select the mirror command, select OK. This is the articulate rod.